A lot of people are interested in energy saving bulbs, but many people have questions about what types of lamps they work well in, what kind of light they produce, and generally how to use them. Hi, I'm Jill Fehrenbacher, the editor of Inhabitat, and I'm here today at the International Contemporary Furniture Fair to check out some designer lamps and to see what types of bulbs they're using and whether or not we can save designers money, time, energy, and maybe even win them some new clients with the next generation of low energy LED bulbs. I'm here with Christopher Coleman of CP Lighting. He's the designer who makes these gorgeous eco-friendly lamps in the shapes of trees and tree branches made out of recycled aluminum piping. Now it's beautiful and very eco-friendly, but it's using an incandescent bulb which sucks up a ton of energy. So we're going to replace your incandescent bulb with a 12.5 watt ambient LED from Philips and we're going to see how the bulb looks. Wow, this is not what I expected. This is very futuristic and isn't apparent where the light's going to be coming out of. <laughs> exactly, I love that. You want to do the honors and sure. swap it out? Yeah, let's okay. take a look. Out with the old, in with the new. Nice. Voila. I like it. The, the color rendering looks the same as an incandescent, which is fantastic. People are very used to having that kind of warm tone from uh, light bulbs and you know there's no flicker. It looks great. This is Christopher's antler pendant from the New Growth series. You can see it uses four incandescent bulbs. These are 25 watt incandescent bulbs. And if we swap these out with for 3.5 watt ambient LED bulbs, we're gonna save a lot of energy for you and make this lamp even more eco-friendly than it is already. It's a good look. And it actually kind of modernizes the fixture even further. I like that. This stunning chandelier by design duo Gabriel Scott is called the Brass Kelly. It uses over half a kilometer of brass chains, and it uses 16 25 watt incandescent bulbs, which burn a ton of energy. So we're gonna try swapping these bulbs out with 3.5 watt LED bulbs and see how it looks. What do you think of the bulbs? Can you tell the difference? No, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think it gives off a more fuller ambient light. Do you think some of your clients would be interested in, in getting LED bulbs? Uh, yeah, actually someone asked me today for, uh, for a hotel where the ceilings are very high. They want to make sure that LEDs would work for this chandelier so that you know, they could avoid having to switch them every so often. Yeah, and these last for 22 years, so Which they would fantastic. never have to change the bulbs. Yeah. I'm here with Vincent Georgeson, co-founder of Mizewell. They're a design company focused on timeless, classic, durable design. We're standing in front of the Tokyo lamp. It's this very cute, classic table lamp, and it's using a 60-watt incandescent bulb in it, which is not very durable since those things last for about a year, and uh, they consume a lot of energy. So I brought with me an LED bulb for you to check out. These last 22 years, which will make your design a lot more timeless. Do you want to try it? Of course. So what do you think about the light quality? I like it. It's a lot uh, warmer than I expected. With LEDs, I'm always thinking, you know, like a cold kind of color, like really white. But um, it looks great, though. I love the, the light that it puts out. It's, it's very natural, very similar to the incandescent. I'm here in the booth of Gray Pants. They're a Seattle-based company that makes these gorgeous, eco-friendly lamps out of recycled cardboard. And because of the corrugations in the cardboard, it makes these patterns that allow the light to diffuse through. It's so beautiful. This is Jonathan Junker. He's the co-founder of Gray Pants. And I just swapped this 40-watt incandescent bulb in his gorgeous lamp behind us with this Philips Ambient LED 12.5-watt. What do you think about how the bulb looks? I love the way the Philips bulb looks. It's actually a very nice bulb. We use it quite a bit. It's the bulb I have in my scrap lights in my house, actually. Uh, it dims nicely. It has a good warmth to it that matches the incandescence, and uh, I think it's a wonderful you know, fit, a responsible fit. Yeah. 